Stadium in Los Angeles. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. Number 18 will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ball game. And a bouncing ball, foul. Hey, come on now. Here we go. Hey, come here it comes. Hey, here we go. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. You really can't overemphasize the presence of speed and the pressure it puts on a defense. I mean, he's fooled on this pitch. Hits a simple little slow grounder, but he's busting it out of the box, and he winds up beating it out. Andres Manuel will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. If you're a stolen base kind of guy, most of your stolen bases are in the pitcher, not the catcher. But this was a slide step that he used right here, and he still stole the base. I think you got to blame the catcher for this one. Here comes the 1-0. Runner's on his way to third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw, not in time, as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. I don't know about this one. Not exactly an ideal situation to run. You've got a left-handed batter up there. You're not really gaining a whole lot with two away. So if you try to take third in that situation, you darn sure better be safe. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Padres leave one. It's the Padres nothing. Dodgers coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Anthony Rizzo will dig in now, and he, like many others, was held hitless in the shutout yesterday afternoon. And here's a ball hit in the air. Shimizu is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We'll move to the third with no score. Number 18 will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Here's the first offering. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve. Strike one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that Fitchy might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Ready now on one and one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here comes the one two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Costa is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Got under this one just a bit too much. And this thing winds up just a few feet shy of the 375 sign out there in the alley. David Phelps will get the call to bat for himself here with his guys up a run here in the sixth. Here comes a 1-2. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Number 18 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Peter Heron will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. He's set, now the pitch. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. Seventh inning coming up. Dodgers out in front, two to nothing. Number 18 will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. 
And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. And that's through into left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. And they had to have that. This is the inning where a leadoff guy is critical. Now they've got a few options here with a speedy guy on first to start things out. Now a throw over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. First pitch coming. Runner goes for second. Pitch out. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Well, that's no surprise to anybody that he's running right here on the first pitch. And these guys defensively, well, they know it too. But that just shows you the kind of speed he has out there. Because even with the pitch out, he's still able to steal that base. Hold him right here, boys. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. The next pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Normally, when you see a guy steal third base, it's because he got a nice walking lead. Really got out there nice and far. But here, he had almost no lead whatsoever when he made his break. Very fortunate to get away with that one. Now the 3 and 0 offering. Taking all the way, it's 3 and 1 now. Well, remember, you don't have to throw him a strike with first base open. But a walk would bring the go-ahead run to the plate. Strike 2 called and it's full 3 and 2. EK, where are you going now on 3 and 2? I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Javi Guerra will come on now in an awfully tough spot as there are two on here with nobody out. Juan Francisco will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this end. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. The 1-0 pitch. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And these Padres have not really had that one key hit yet. This would be a perfect spot here. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Had a good cut there, but he can't time the breaking ball. That evens us at two and two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. Chopper foul. No runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. 2-2. Two, two. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Two, two, one more time. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Kyle Blanks will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game to this point as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. 1-1 one, one on the way. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. To two balls and two strikes now. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. And he takes a called third strike, and that's a big one as the bases stay loaded here with one out in the inning now. Wilfredo Tovar will stand in now, and if he can find a gap somewhere, he might even be able to give his team the lead. Come on, sitting on something here. Get a good pitch right here. Here we go. Now here's the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. All right, you're down two here. You've got the tying runs in scoring position with one out. This has to be a productive at-bat. Even if you don't reach base, you've got to get that guy in from third. 
Acosta is there. Let's see if they test it. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2-1 now. Number 18 will bat down two for three in the ballgame. Number 18. And he'll take first here on the intentional walk. So make it runners at the corners now with two away. Andres Manuel will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose up there. And no throw as it turns out as he takes second with ease. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and just put him aboard here, and they'll do just that. Danny Stemley will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Now, here's the first pitch. Juan Francisco is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot. And you're stuck facing a guy like this. 2-0 on the way. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Waiting on it now is Kemp, and he puts it away to retire the side. Odds leave them loaded. They still trail it here, two to one. Danny Stemley is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Robert Key is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Preston Dooley will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Number 18 is there, and he has it for the out. And really, from what we've seen here so far this afternoon, balls just don't seem to have a whole lot of carry to them. This was another example right there. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this